DMG Gildemeister CTX 400 Twin. This is the main power switch, so you turn it on, you just turn it to the side. I just did it, it's warming up right now. It also includes a 400 volt transformer that comes with the machine. So this machine, as you can see, this is a nameplate, is 400 volts. So let's go walk around to the front. This is the back of the machine, there's your main spindle. Go around this way, you can see the Heine hand control is booting up. And so I will go through the startup sequence. So after about a minute or so of the control going through its phases, it'll come up, it says CNC Pilot 4290 version 6.1. And it'll be a little bit longer for it to get all the way booted up. Go ahead and put it on uh, pause, or I'll just keep it rolling, I guess. So we'll just go over here and show you. So it's got a microcentric collet chuck over here, which is a quick change. It has a VDI style turret with live tool, radial and axial. It does front work, it does back work. Here's your sub spindle as well too. It comes with uh, seven live tools total, four radial, three axial, and it has the uh, chip conveyor. So let's see. Okay, so now it kind of much did its boot up. It says start up. It's going through its initialization here. We want to see to make sure everything's blue. See this right here? You got a green right here. It means we have an alarm. So we come here, we see the alarm light flash on the control. So first thing it tells you to do, it says push operating mode key. So here is the operating mode key, this little button. So you push that, and now it'll give you another screen here. We're in red, so we can see the date. Everything else has come up. And we still have alarms right here. We got alarms. So we're gonna push the alarms key, which is this button here. That's gonna tell us. It says emergency stop, and it says PLC signal. So the first thing we'll do is we'll release emergency stop right here. Take that off. Then we're going to hit reset, which happens to be the delete button. We push delete twice to get rid of these alarms. Delete, delete. Then we still have an alarm, so we see it's flashing again. We have more alarms, still flashing. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to push the alarms key again. It's going to say, shows no errors. But to see the rest of the errors, you push this button right here, the double arrow, and now we have errors. Well, first thing, the power's on the machine. So turn the power on. You push this button right here. Let's turn the hydraulics on. Go ahead and push that. You can hear the machine firing up. Hydraulics now have been turned on. It says main clamping unit undefined position and counter spindle clamping undefined. So we'll go ahead and clear those. So once it's been done there, in order to clear those, we have to be inside. You have to escape, hit escape, and then go into machine, which is going to be number seven, where it says machine, push button seven, and we're going to go into reference, and we're going to do reference jog or reference automatic. So. First, we're going to go ahead and we're going to clear the alarm by clamping the spindle. We'll go ahead and clamp the main spindle. Let's go ahead and push down the pedal. That clamps. We're going to clamp the sub spindle. Go ahead and clamp that. Now they're both clamped. And now, look at that. Everything is blue. Now we're ready to power restart the machine. To so restart the machine, we're going to have to be in machine mode and in manual control, be in machine over here, manual control here. And now we're going to go into reference, which is going to be two. It says reference. We can try to zoom this or auto it. So it says reference. We can push two to go to reference. We're gonna say reference automatic seven. And now we want to say enter on the key here. Enter ENT. Enter. And now it's gonna say slides all. It's fine. We can say okay.